Hi! In this tutorial, we will be solving the edge length of a face-centered cubic unit cell. To solve the edge length of an FCC unit cell, we will be using this simple formula. A is equal to 4R divided by square root of 2. A is the edge length. and R is the radius of the atom. So let's try to use the formula by answering problem number one. Nickel crystallizes in an FCC structure. The radius of nickel is 163 picometers. What is the edge length of the unit cell in picometers and in centimeters? So the problem says that the unit cell has an FCC structure. The formula for the edge length, as mentioned previously, is 4R divided by square root of 2. In our problem, we are given R. The radius is 163 picometers. So 4 times R, 163 picometers, divided by square root of 2. Grab your calculator and type the numbers, and you will get that A is equal to 461 picometers. So this is the edge length in picometers. The problem is also asking for the edge length in centimeters. So what we need to do is convert 461 picometers to centimeters. The conversion is 1 picometer is equivalent to 1 times 10 raised to negative 10 centimeters. So you put 1 picometer on the bottom and on top, you put 1 times 10 raised to negative 10 centimeters. So picometers will cancel, and then your unit will become centimeters. And this is equal to 4.61 times 10 raised to negative 8 centimeters. So this is your edge length in centimeters. Sometimes your professors will not ask you for the edge length. Instead, they will give you the edge length and they will ask you to solve for the radius of the atom. For example, in problem number two, silver crystallizes in an FCC structure. The edge length of the unit cell is 486 picometers. What is the atomic radius of silver in picometers? So this is still FCC structure. And the formula we have is A equal to 4R divided by square root of 2. This time, the problem is asking for the atomic radius. So it's asking for R. So we need to rearrange the equation that we have to solve for R. So how do we rearrange this? First, you need to multiply both sides of the equation by square root of 2. So square root of 2 will cancel on the right side, and your equation becomes square root of 2 times A is equal to 4R. And to solve for R, you divide both sides of the equation by 4. So 4 cancels on the right side. Therefore, our equation becomes square root of 2 times a divided by 4 is equal to r. Now that we have the equation for r, we can substitute the numbers. r is equal to square root of 2 times a, the edge length. The given edge length in the problem is 486 picometers. So you put 486 pm divided by 4. 
if you type this in your calculator, you can solve for R. And R is equal to 172 picometers. So this is the radius of silver in picometers.